Hey guys. So today I want to talk to you a little bit about symbolism in literary works. And this is something that can be kind of tricky for some people, people to wrap their mind around. So don't be shy about pausing the video, taking down good notes, and making sure you understand everything we talk about. Okay? So our objectives for today's lesson are going to be, first of all, to define symbolism. Okay? Then we're going to learn how to identify symbols and finally to interpret symbols. In other words, to decide what they actually represent. So let's move on to defining symbolism. What is symbolism? Well, it's something that, although it is of interest in its own right, stands for or suggests something larger and more complex. Make sure you get that definition down, okay? The important thing you need to remember is that a symbol is something that stands for something else. Like it says, usually something that's larger and more complex, okay? So how do we identify and interpret symbolism? I want to use, go ahead and use this acronym to help us do that. So the acronym is WAS, W-A-S, okay? Here's what those stand for. W is for what person, place, animal, object, or action is being emphasized, all right? A, what are the attributes of this person, place, animal, object, or action? And finally, S, what could this symbolize? Okay, so let me walk you through that using sort of a visual tool. And I encourage you to get this down in your notes as well. Okay, so in the center of this tool, we have the W for what's the object, action, person, etc., etc., etc. Okay, the second level of symbolism is deciding what attributes that thing has. And finally, once we've decided what attributes it has, we decide on what it might symbolize. So let me show you how this works. Let's say that I am reading over a poem or a piece of literature and it talks about fire, all right? So that's an object that caught my attention and I'm thinking, you know, that might be symbolic. First of all, I need to think about the attributes of fire. So here are a few attributes that I've come up with. It's warm or hot, uh, it burns, it heats, it's active, it refines, okay, purifies. It must be controlled. It also sterilizes. Now, with those in mind, what might fire symbolize? So here are some ideas. The fact that fire is warm or hot could symbolize love or passion. The fact that it burns could mean it symbolizes destruction. That it heats, maybe fire symbolizes comfort. That it's active, it might symbolize vitality, liveliness. Okay? That it refines, maybe fire symbolizes a purification process of some kind. Fire must be controlled, so maybe it symbolizes powerful forces. Now, what those forces might be would depend on the work you're reading in the context that fire occurs in. And finally, fire sterilizes, and so it might symbolize death. Um, the fact that fire sterilizes means it, it, it kills everything, it wipes out everything, so it might symbolize death in that way. So we have so far covered our objectives. We have defined symbolism. We've learned how to identify and interpret it. Now I want you to practice it a bit. Okay, and I've given you a poem here, Fire and Ice by Robert Frost. Go ahead and pause the video and read it over to yourself. And then what we're going to do is I want you to go ahead and apply the um, WAS acronym to this poem. Um, and of course, go ahead and, and use the target as well to write down your ideas. So go ahead and pause this and um, get that uh, written down. Once you've had a chance to do that, bring that to class and, and we'll be ready to talk about it. Thanks guys and of course as always write down any questions you have so that we can talk about them.